Hello there. Uh, just to try to make a little tutorial video here to show you how to add XBMC Hub maintenance to your OUYA. If you already have XBMC installed and you've already installed the XBMC Hub repository, but for whatever reason it was not the 1.0.1 version that you're supposed to get. So like on mine, the only one available on here when I downloaded it was 1.0.0. It's supposed to be 1.0.1, .1, which has the XBMC hub maintenance um, available for download. So like right down here, so you see I'm highlighted on um, xbmchub.com add-on repository. Normally, when you would click this, you'd get a list of things here that you could install, and one of them being XBMC Hub Maintenance, that great tool that we all want to have for XBMC Hub. Well, I guess with the Apple TV, if you ever have this problem and there's no availability of the 1.0.1 .1 version of XBMC Hub, you can take your Apple TV remote hold down the menu button while you're highlighted here supposedly and it will bring up a pop-up screen with several options in it and one of those options would be um, ref uh, force refresh I think it's called and then when you do that apparently you can exit out of your XBMC hub go back in click on this repository and then it will magically be there well with this controller I have not found a way to hold down the quote unquote menu button. I think A was the back. I tried holding down A. All that did was exit me out of all these menus. So I tried some other buttons. I couldn't figure it out. So what I finally did was I went um, online with my desktop computer and I did a Google search. I'll put it in the description for you, um, a link to it. I found a download of the XBMC hub maintenance file on its own. So what I did was I downloaded that to my computer and then it seems that the OUYA is a little weird about how you can get things on and off of it. What I've been seeing and hearing online is that you want to to get that XBMC hub maintenance file into my OUYA. Some people are saying the easiest thing to do is use Dropbox. If you're not familiar with Dropbox, it's an online service you just go online, create an account, and then download a program on your computer and it will give you a little um, Dropbox folder. Anything you put in that Dropbox folder, you can access from any web browser. So you could go to a friend's house and get on their computer, log on to your Dropbox account, and you could see any files that are on your computer in your Dropbox folder. So that's what I did, is I took that XBMC Hub Maintenance file, put it in my Dropbox folder, came in here on the OUYA, uh, went to the web browser, which is, well, let's just get all the way out here, uh, it's going to go make, software, press over, and then you see your web browser. Go on your web browser, type in the address dropbox.com, um, log in, and then you can see that file and hit you know click on it to download it and it'll download it into your OUYA. Once you have done that all you have to do is come back out to this screen go down start up your XBMC go over to system go down to settings go down to add-ons but here instead of going to get add-ons you're gonna say install from zip file and when you download that that uh, maintenance file on your computer by the way make sure you leave it in a zip file format don't unzip it uh, before you upload it onto your Dropbox so anyway install from zip file and then your very first option up here says external storage which actually on the OUYA is the internal storage because if we go down to this we see right here there's our download folder for the OUYA so we already went into the browser, downloaded the zip file for the maintenance. So we come into here, and there it is in our download folder. Plug-in video hub maintenance. So you would click on that, 
and then you would get an option to install. Mine's already installed. And then you're installed. You're ready to go. So you have XBMC Hub Maintenance. You can put it to work. As you can see here, I've got it right there. So to get one channel running, you have to do this little patch. It's as easy as clicking a button to fix your one channel. A lot of great things on here. You clear your cache. Whenever your system, when you've used it for a while, it gets a little laggy. You can go in and delete your cache with the press of a button. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, don't forget, once you install it, you may have to restart XBMC uh, for the maintenance hub to take effect, or the maintenance program to take effect. So anyway, hopefully this helped you out. If anybody finds a easier workaround, obviously uh, leave a comment or a response video or something showing us what you found. But for now, this does seem to work and it will get you going. You got to get on your computer a little bit and you know, but it's really, once you understand how to do it, it goes pretty quick. So hopefully this helps somebody. Leave a comment, um, anything like that. Thank you so much. Enjoy.